Come on, students. Today we are going to talk about finding the area of this figure. Let's look at an example. In the, in the figure, ABCD is a straight line. BFE also a straight line, and so does CFG. And ACGH is a parallelogram. ACGH, opposite sides, parallel. And now we're going to find the area of the polygon. A, D, E, F, G, H. We can see from this polygon. Actually, it is the sum of the areas of this parallelogram. Let's say A, C, G, H. This is the parallelogram. And B, D, E, is a triangle. We can think of this figure, the sum of the area of the parallelogram and the triangle, B, D. This is a right angle triangle. But you can observe that there is an overlapping area. B, C, F is overlapping area. That means we have to subtract this part, B, C, F, to find the area of the polygon, A, D, E, F, G, H. And now can we write down the size of these figures? Eh? We have a parallelogram and two triangles. The base is a 3 meter plus, plus 5 meters, that is 8 meters. Height, 5 meters. We can draw the diagram right here so that it will be easier to find the final answer. And BDE, 5 meters plus 2 meters is the base. We have 7 meters. Height, 7 meters. This is a right angle triangle. Finally, the overlapping part, B, C, F. The base is 5 meters. Height is 4 meters. And now for the area of a parallelogram, it will be the base times the height. For triangle, base times height divided by 2. Okay, this is also base times height divided by 2. And now we can proceed or go, move forward to find the area. Area of AD, EF, GH. And another plus this big triangle minus the smaller triangle. And the unit will be the square of meter, meter square. So this is 40 minus 10, we get 30, 30 plus 24.5. We have 54.5 meter square. 